President Obama joined G8 leaders from the world's largest industrialized nations at the start of a two-day summit on international trade, tax havens, transparency issues, as well as the unrest in Syria. Steve Sedgwick has more from Northern Ireland on the kickoff of the meeting today. Here in Northern Ireland, leaders representing around about half of the $72 trillion global economy are meeting to discuss a whole array of issues as set by the agenda of David Cameron, who holds the presidency of the G8. Key nations such as the United States, Russia, Japan and the United Kingdom are all here to discuss trade issues. There are great hopes of a big trade deal between Europe and indeed the United States that could be worth up to $100 billion to both the United States and indeed the European Union economic bloc. They're also going to be talking over the next 24 hours about tax avoidance issues, which could have ramifications for companies such as Amazon and Google, who have been accused by certain countries, including the UK, of not paying their full rate of tax, although those companies say we are abiding by the laws of those countries. Elsewhere, the whole Syrian issue is overriding a lot of these talks. There is a big dispute between President Putin of Russia and, indeed, the rest of the G8 nations about what to do about the escalating crisis in Syria. President Obama said to me earlier today the talks had been excellent between himself and Russia and yet there still appears to be a gulf of opinion about how to resolve this crisis. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Sedgwick in Enniskillen.